Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's November week four and this week we're going to be working with the masterboards that we created a few weeks ago. Um, this was part two of the original masterboard that I created, so I went mad with circles in part two, um, mainly using items that I'd found around the home. I mean here you can see that this is from um, a cotton reel, um, I've used various bottle lids, all kinds of things, a few stencils, um, you know, the rubber tip of a pencil. Um, so if you want to see how I made this, I'll leave the link to the description, to the video in the description box below. This was part one. Um, so this was just scraping on and painting on various layers of paint. And then of course I went to embellish it with the circles. Um, now I took these to my local printers today um, and had them copied. I had one done of the um, part one in black and white um, just because I was intrigued to see if I could do anything with with this um, and I also had um, part one let me bring it back again um, reduced um, in vibrancy um, just so that I could work with these two together but just have more of a contrast um, going on because I just think those are too samey um, if you will um, so as I say took it along to my local printers and just asked them to um, reduce the brightness as much as they could and this is what they've come up with so I think I've had three sheets of this they charge I think it's one pound fifty a couple of pounds um, perhaps I've forgotten it, it depends on how many sheets I have done the more you have copied um, the cheaper it gets I think these were probably two pounds um, each so I had three of those um, and I've also had two of these done as well um, these are printed out onto 400 GSM um, satin cardstock. It's beautiful quality. They provided this. Um, I've taken along mixed media paper in the past and got them to photocopy stuff for me on my mixed media paper or even um, the Arteza um, textured paper as well. And they have no problem with that whatsoever. So, you know, I sort of have quite a good choice of um, background textures. Um, I also found this one in my stash. Um, this was one that I did on Arteza paper that I've had photocopied um, but the colours are very very similar so I thought I might be able to um, incorporate this somewhere down the line as well so I'm just going to go away now cut out a few shapes um, to play with and I'll be right back now I've made my card and envelope um, first and this is the best way to do it. Don't make your embellishments and then the card and envelope to fit. It's best to do the envelope and the card first. Um, my card measures five inches by four inches and of course I've made the envelope with my envelope punch board which you've seen me use before. I love this. Um, and so I've cut out some embellishments to suit. So let me just show you. Um, this is the piece of paper that I started off with and I've just cut um, a strip of paper that measures slightly shorter than my card base so three and three quarters by um, four is it three and three quarters yes yeah, three and three quarters by four and three quarters and then I've done another one with the coordinating paper um, a smaller piece with with this one of course and this measures here let's have a look three and a half by two and a quarter so that's what I'm going to use to make my embellishments now this card is going to be so simple you just won't believe but I think it will look really effective by the time I've finished. Um, so I've cut the card base um, which again as I said is slightly um, shorter um, and narrower than the card itself so that will be my background and then I want to do a Christmas tree. Now I've made myself a template out of a piece of the scrap cardstock left over from the card that I made um, and I've just drawn it on the back like that so I'm just going to use my scissors just to cut my tree shape out really really simple so we'll do that there we go so that's that done 
um, and then I just save these pieces by the way because you can use these for another project I'll show you um, what you can do with those a bit later um, so that's my tree um, and it you know is going to stand out really well on that lovely background now what I want to do is edge it with one of these deco color um, gold pens um, you can use any gold pen you could use silver you could use bronze um, anything you like um, so I've just got um, a scratch piece of paper here just to activate it and I'm just going to go in fact I'll move that out of the way just in case I end up with a splodge and I'm just going to line my tree um, and my background in the gold like this so that's how these pieces look like um, and that's just framed both of the pieces and of course I need a base for my um, Christmas tree to sit on so I've cut another square out of leftover craft cardstock and I'm just going to eyeball this what I am going to do is taper it so I'm just going to do one side first and then I'm just going to flip it over you could use this as a guide if you wanted to I'm not going to bother um, I'm just going to eyeball that as well um, and just hope that they're fairly um, even and so that will be the pot for my Christmas tree um, to sit in um, now I don't want it in craft color so I am just going to use let me just bring this back as well so that I don't make a mess I'm going to paint this in gold as well so I'm just going to color it with my paint pen um, this dries really really quickly because um, it's solvent based um, I think these solvent based pens are much much better than water based um, alcohol mark um, water based metallic markers um, and then I'm just going to outline it um, as well just to frame it um, I think that makes it look better so we'll frame it like this and then I'm just going to have to sit that aside for just a, you know, a few seconds to wait for that to dry. There we go. So that's the pot for my Christmas tree um, done and I've also got a tub of these um, metallic stars that I got from Sainsbury's um, supermarkets here in the UK. Um, this was in the Christmas decoration um, section. I think they were £2 for a whole tub of these. Um, for anybody that has followed me for a long time, you know that I raid Sainsbury's every year for their Christmas decorations because they're just absolutely wonderful for using in mixed media projects. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I don't like like the um, coppery bronze colour so I want it in gold to match um, everything else that I'm doing so I'm just going to colour this um, with my paint pen and voila you know in seconds job job done and transformed there we go so you could you know do these in any colour you like if you want silver you know absolutely fine so I want to start piecing my card together. Now I feel um, that it just needs a darker frame. So I'm just going to use some archival ink and it may well be that I come back in with more of the gold. We'll see how this looks. Um, but I'm just going to try and frame my piece just to darken it um, around the edges, just like this. Um, it just makes it uh, look more moody. You can still see the gold, but I'll probably go around the edges um, again. Um, just to brighten things up you see that just makes an instant transformation I just love how that looks um, there we go so we've got that yep love that I'm going to do exactly the same with the um, tub as well and I shall do exactly the same thing with the star um, so we've got that let's have a look we we'll do the same with the with the star as well. This just grunges everything up a bit as as well. So I feel as if I want to do exactly the same thing with the background. So again, I'm just going to use some of the archival ink just to darken um, that as well. And then I'm just going to add more of the gold around the edges. Um, this is just framing it um, a bit better, I think. So let's piece um, this together. I want my card to go something like this. I'm going to take the sticky pad that's on the back of this uh, wooden star here, um, just because it's too thick. Um, oh, it's stuck to me. Um, and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to glue everything down. Um, so I've got my Fabri-Tac at the ready. Um, if I can get the lid off, come on. 
here we go so we'll start off with the um, tree first and we'll just apply some Fabri-Tac here this will glue everything down really nicely without any warping I'm just going to um, spread it out to the edges with my finger um, like like this and just try and centralize it as best I can you know this is homemade it doesn't have to be um, perfect um, and then we'll do the same with the base so a small amount of fabric tank you don't need a huge amount here and so we'll glue that down there like that um, and you can see that mine's wonky I'm absolutely fine with that you know you can centralize it up if you want to um, and then we'll just glue the star down um, as well here we go and again I'm just going to use my finger just to spread the glue out to the edges um, and how do I want that? Um, I think we'll have it like um, that perhaps. There we go. And then finally before I glue um, my card down to the background I just want to use a snowflake stamp. This is just from a Christmas set that I got from the scrap store um, last year for a pound would you believe. Um, so I'm just dipping this into my embossing stamp pad, my clear embossing stamp pad and where shall I have these? I don't want too many of them, I don't want to go um, overboard, I want to be a bit random as well so we'll do do this if I decide that I haven't got enough I can always add more let's have one hanging off the side let me just grab a sheet of scratch paper as well this one will do and I've got some um, stardust embossing powder here um, again this is one that I got from the scrap store where did I put that embossing ink I'm just going to have to pour it all over because I can't remember where they were. Oh gosh, here we go. Um, how pretty is that? Um, so I'm just going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to heat set this with my heat tool. So as a last final touch before I glue it down, I just want to um, add my um, stem to the Christmas tree like that um, to join it all together and then I'm just going to glue it to my base if I can find where I put it that is here we go um, I don't know whether you can see that gorgeous um, sparkle sparkle doesn't tend to pick up on camera so well but it really is just absolutely lovely and again I'm just going to glue this down with some fabric so I've got some more components exactly the same and I just want to see what this looks like um, with some white splattering instead of the embossing powder so I'm using some of the Arteza titanium white gouache you only need a minuscule amount um, let me just move those out of the way so that I don't end up ruining those I'm just watering it down slightly um, and then I'm just going to splatter let me just grab something to tap um, with move everything out of the way because as we know this makes a mess and so I'm just going to add some white splatters um, in the background how cool um, is is that so here are my cards so far I absolutely love this one that I've just done with the splattering I just think that looks so pretty um, I love this one but you can hardly see um, the embossing um, silver powder that I've put on there well it wasn't silver what was it called star stardust um, so I'm just using one of these um, wink of Stella pens um, this is the color gold and I'm just going to go over the glitter um, just to you know try and define these a little bit better let's see if this this works and that looks so much better look at that really 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 pretty I've also decided to add a bit of splatter to this one here in terms of gold as well so I'm just grabbing my gold pen and I'm just going to activate it and tap on there oh I just love that that's gorgeous that's just made all the all the difference there we go 
So I just want to do one more and um, this time I've cut um, a piece out of the black and white sheet that um, I had copied um, this measures I think it's four and three quarters by four and a quarter um, not that size matters because of course you can do these to any size you like I'm just going to ink around the edge again in archival black inch uh, ink just to grunge um, it up a bit so we'll do that so that just makes it look more dramatic, I think. And then I'm going to use the um, uh, Americana metallic leafing pen in silver this time. And I'm just going to carefully go round the edges like, like this, exactly the same as I did with the other two pieces. So the silver metallic leafing pen is now dry and again I'm just going to keep this one really simple. Um, I've got a felt coaster, um, let me just find the pack. It came in a pack of four um, for a pound from Poundland. Um, you saw me use similar ones to this last year in some um, tree decorations that I did. So I'm going to glue that onto my background. Um, I've also got one of these gorgeous silver glittery um, snowflake embellishments. This came in a pack from Sainsbury's in their Christmas um, decoration section. Um, they come on ribbon so they look like this and I've just snipped the ribbon off um, and I'm going to glue those down with some Fabri-Tac. So we'll glue the background on first. Um, you don't need much um, so we'll just put some in the centre like this. Fabri-Tac's perfect for this because of course it is made for fabric. Um, you don't need a huge um, amount, it dries really quickly as well. I just absolutely love this stuff. Um, I did mention last week that um, B can do a three in one, which is pretty much the same but slightly cheaper. Um, and I did leave the link to another video for somebody who compared Collal, which is um, another um, acetone. Um, based glue which is very very similar again um, and if you buy it in large quantities is even cheaper um, still so if I remember I'll leave the link to that video um, again in the description box below because if we can all save money then you know that's great isn't it so I'm just going to glue that onto the background like like that try and get it um, fairly fairly straight and centralise. That looks good to me. Um, and then let's have a look. How do I want to do this? Um, again, I'm just going to glue this down with some Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to add, in fact, I'll use my smaller one. Where's it gone? Um, I'm just going to apply some glue just to the centre of these gems here. Um, because of course they're they're raised. Any of these stringy bits will just peel off, so I'm not worried about, about those. So we'll apply plenty of glue like, like this, twizzle it round. Here we are. We can um, remove the glue strings. You could, of course, use um, a hot glue gun um, if you wanted to for, for this. Just get rid of those stringy bits there. And now, of course, I've got the um, little circle there that the hanger um, ribbon hanger was attached to so we'll have that at the top um, and then it's just a case of leaving that just to grab so whilst I'm waiting for that to grab um, I've just got some further um, silver embellishments here um, just little silver they're not gemstones I don't know what they are just little silver um, stickers that I got from scrap store several years ago when I very first um, joined and I'm just going to attach a tiny weeny bit of Fabri-Tac um, and just put one of these on each of the points just to add uh, you know, a tiny bit more bling. There we go. So I shall just go off camera um, and add some more of those. You could have, of course, used pearls, anything you like. So again, I'll just glue this down with more Fabri-Tac um, and that's my third card finished. And this will hold everything nice and firmly down in place. There we go. There we go. Centralise this nice and neatly. And voila. I love that. So here 
here are my finished cards i have really enjoyed using the masterboard again this week um i hope you have too i've certainly had um, enough requests for more ideas um you don't have to do christmas cards this week if you don't want to but you know i do look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to do with their masterboards um so here's the black one i love this i think that's so cute and i love how um it turned out using the black and white um copy of the masterboard um this one is really sweet too with the gold splatters i love that um and i think my favorite is the snowy looking one with the white splatters i've got some ideas um for insides for the cards as well which i'll share with you um in you know the next few days or so but i look forward to seeing how everyone else decides to interpret the prompt um this week you don't have to do christmas cards if you don't want to um but if you enjoyed my project today as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to my channel if um, you enjoyed today's project so take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now